Okay, so when you see it's untaped again, and look how fast it's dropping. Both of them. I'm already down to 160, 159. So, for people that are looking kind of uh, for ways to go through, and especially with the Xenons, um, this one's never red ringed on me. But I do use a lot, and uh, the last thing I want to do is sit here and look for another JTAG, especially with how, how hard they are to get, and then to sit there and make one, it's just a pain in the butt. Um, but you can see right here, something as simple as taking the DVD drive out just so there's another inlet for air. Look at that. Look how fast that drops. You know, if you get a DVD, I mean, you get good enough at it where you can pop that DVD drive in and out in five minutes if you really need it. Um... I don't really see the point with being able to FTP in. But, uh, yeah. So that'll still drop. Look. That dropped down. Memory dropped down. Look how much the case has already dropped down. So, um, and it's still dropping. So, you know, just something to think about for those of you that are like me, where I've just been trying all sorts of different stuff to see what can drop temperatures. I mean, this thing will sit now at like 140, 144 and just idle perfectly. Um, without any worries. So, something as simple as pulling that DVD drive out, open up that space, and now it's, it's brought in another area where it can pull in air. Um, so, you know, go ahead and try it out. Please remember to subscribe. I'll have a lot of more uh, JTAG stuff coming up. Lots of tips, lots of tricks. And, uh, you know, comment. If you got questions, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching my video, guys.